In this chapter, we explore a way to load data from the web into a web slate. There's a 3D game object in the scene that represents our beautiful planet Earth. We'll update a script so that when you click on the globe, the latitude and longitude are captured and Bing Maps provides a map of the chosen area. I can zoom in or zoom out, drag the map to adjust the position or click any of these links. Other attendees won't see these changes. They'll only see an update when the globe is clicked again. One icebreaker we've done on our global team, which is really fun, is show each other where we're located on the globe, and then we can learn more about those areas. So let's make this happen in Unity. If you're curious about how the Earth object is set up and how the script is designed to detect a click and know the latitude and longitude of the click, feel free to check it out in this globe location on web slate script. But for this video, we're going to focus on the web slate itself. So we're going to go into Earth Actions and edit the script graph here. The first group contains a node called web slate load with the value of the Bing map URL. Right now, things are set up so that every time you click the earth object, this URL loads into the web slate. So moving on to our URL builder group, the first node is get variable, which loads the variable that contains the coordinate that was clicked on the earth object. The next few nodes after the Microsoft mesh on stage to on state changed event, node, which pop quiz, if you remember from Mesh 101, triggers when any of its inputs changes its value. You take that coordinate, convert it to a string, and attach it as a parameter to the end of the Bing Maps URL in the string concatenation node. The set variable node initializes the web slate URL variable with the URL. Now, we just need to ensure that this URL, which naturally changes every time Earth is clicked, loads into the web slate. And we can do that by creating a web slate load node. And what we're going to do is bring in the web slate. That is our Bing map. And connect our new URL to the URL data input. Now that's it for our logic. Let's test this out in the emulator. So we're in the emulator. Let's navigate to our globe. And perfect, this looks great. Looks like our Bing map has showed up. And we're getting our latitude and longitude flow. So a good way to get further insights into your script is to watch them in the script graph window when you try out features in the emulator. So in this project, you can see the latitude and longitude values of the location that we click on on the Earth object flowing out of the connectors from the Microsoft Mesh on state change node. Now you can try creating your own station with a web slate and a button that loads an HTML file. Get creative and share your efforts in our Mesh developer forum. And feel free to check out our docs on web slates as well as our other samples. Thanks for listening. Till next time. <laughs>